Starting this list off, we've got the Friar Tuck. Now, most of us thought this haircut was extinct, last seen on that jolly friar that supported Robin Hood. But lo and behold, Tim Tebow brought it back. Okay. Now, if you're familiar with your history, you know that this is called tonsure. It's the practice of shaving the hair on the top of the head to basically show that you are humble. Now, in 1972, the practice was abandoned by papal order, but apparently Tim Tebow did not get the memo. But seriously, shaving your head has been used by cultures around the world to symbolize new beginnings. Monks do it all the time, but make sure that you fully shave the head. That looks good. Leaving that ring around the scalp, not so much. In today's video, gents, we're counting down the worst hairstyles of all time. Coming in at number 10, we've got the flat top. Now, the flat top, the coach cut, whatever you want to call it, this hairstyle has been in and out of fashion for over 70 years. And when you look at it, functional-wise, it's actually a pretty good hairstyle. It's short, easy to maintain, creates a lean profile. In fact, for athletes and military men, this hairstyle is popular because it makes sense, because it works. That being said, it's kind of developed a reputation as the haircut of the asshole. You know what I'm talking about, the guy in your face that's overly aggressive, that's about to go off on a steroid rage. All that being said, in the right situation, I can see it working, but in my opinion, there are better options out there. Next up on the countdown, the bowl cut. Now, apparently, this hairstyle is over a thousand years old, going back to the Crusades. But here's the deal. It didn't look good then, and it doesn't look good now. Gents, it makes your head look like a friggin' mushroom. Yeah, not really much I can say about this one. It made a comeback in the 1970s. It was joked about then. If you see this thing making a comeback now, do not jump on it. The bowl cut is not really for any head shape. I just don't understand why people do it to themselves. And speaking of bowl cuts, let's talk about curtains. Curtains are like the third cousin twice removed from the bowl cut, except they require more work. Seriously, it's like a bowl cut, but they just tried to make it really fashionable. They divide it really nice. They count the number of hairs, so you've got an equal number on each side, maybe even color it a bit. Gents, it still doesn't look good. Your head, again, looks like a mushroom. Now, I've heard that this hairstyle came out of English gang culture in the 1920s. I don't know how much of that is true, but I do know every time I see this haircut, I'm like, oh my gosh, what were you thinking? Next up on the list, powdered wigs. So, apparently, these came out of France in the 17th century. He had a French king that was balding, and he wanted to be able to cover it up. So, he went ahead and threw on a wig. Well, everyone apparently wants to be like the king, so they all start wearing wigs. All of a sudden, we got a fashion trend. Now, I get it. Human beings fall into trends, but this one went on for centuries. Literally, at the beginning of the 19th century, you still saw men wearing powdered wigs. Now, some guys knew how to pull it off. George Washington crossing the Delaware, this guy knew how to pull off a powdered wig. But to be honest, for most mere mortals, it just looks silly. And if you didn't take care of that wig, guess what? You got infestations of bugs. Now, you may be wondering what's worse than that. Gentlemen, let me introduce you to the rat tail. Seriously, what were these guys thinking when they got their hair cut like this? Now, I get it. If you're Jet Li or maybe a Jedi Padawan, you can pull it off. It's unfair. But for most men, the rat tail, yeah, just does not look good. Now, as you're watching today's video, you're probably wondering, Antonio, how is it that you look so friggin' amazing? Your hair is on point. Well, thank you very much. Gentlemen, I'm using Vitaman. This is my new company based out of Australia using natural and organic ingredients. These are the best hair care and hairstyling products out there on the planet. Seriously, that's why I partnered with this company. I am an owner of this company because I believed in what these guys were doing. So, right here, I've got the styling cream. This is great if you've got shorter hair. You just want a little bit of hold, but you want to bring a bit more texture. I absolutely love it. If you've got a little bit longer hair, then you want to look at what we got here, the gel. Yes, the gel is going to keep it right in place. So, if you have to deal with wind, you don't want your hair going anywhere. The gel is for you. But maybe you want to hold, but you want it not really to have any shine. You want to look at our matte mud. This is one of our best sellers. It has high hold, a great product. I like this one as well. And of course, we've got pomade. So, if you want a bit of shine, if you want something like more of an old school look to keep that hair down, check out our pomade. Here's the deal. I'm going to make this a no-brainer for you. I'm putting a special link down in the description so you can try Vitaman at the lowest price. I'm making this so I'm almost giving the product away because I want to get it into your hands. I want you to see the Vitaman difference so that you can try your product, you can try mine, and you can throw your product right in the trash because you know that ours is so much better. Oh, yeah. I look good. And you can too. Just click on the link. Next up on the list, the mullet. Now, a lot of people would put this as their number one, the worst hairstyle out there. I can't do that. The thing is, when you see guys like Joe Dirt wear it with confidence, you got to give a little bit of respect to the mullet. Now, I said just a little bit. Now, there's been some pretty powerful guys pull this off. We're talking about David Bowie, Rod Stewart, Keith Richards, Paul McCartney, 
The thing is, this was the 1970s and a lot of the rules went right out the window. Nowadays, there are two rules to being able to pull off the mullet. First up, you need to be self-employed or unemployed. The other one being you got to have a huge level of confidence. And remember with the mullet, it's about business on top and party in the back. Next up, we've got the man bun. Now, I was hesitant to put this one on the list because I feel for the right guy that's been rocking his longer hair and didn't follow trends, this is perfectly fine. But here's the thing is that so many hipsters have given this a bad name. Seriously, it's like they grew their hair out for years just to put it up in a bun to offend us real Americans. That's right, America. Seriously though, I don't have a beef with this hairstyle. It's been around for over 2000 years. In fact, Chinese warriors use this hairstyle to keep their hair out of the way when they're going into battle. So, I understand, hey, it's got some history. Actually, functionally, it works. But understand, if you're pulling your hair back, be careful not to pull it back too tight because basically right here, the hair on your hairline can start to get pulled out and it can cause premature balding. All right, gentlemen, so coming in at number three, we've got the greasy style. Now, notice I didn't say greaser style. There's a difference. Actually, I like the 1950s greaser look, but the greasy style, that is the overuse of pomades, the overuse of any product gel that is simply coming off of the hair. Guys, be careful with the overuse of hair product. You remember that great scene in the movie Coming to America, Soul Glow? Yeah all that product in the hair. In fact, they had to have special covers whenever people sat down. All that stuff that was left, guess what? That's historically correct. That's why they had these covers back in the 1920s and 30s because a lot of men would overdo it. They would put so much oil, so much product in their hair that if they leaned back, it would basically stain the couch. So, gents, I know your soul may want to glow, but take it easy on the hair product. Make sure that you're not spreading that stuff all over the place. Now, guys, I know that you've got an opinion. I want to hear from you down in the comments. What did I miss? What should have been on this list? Where do you disagree with me? I want to hear from you guys down in the comments. Coming in at number two, we've got the frosted tips. So, there's just so many things on so many levels that is fundamentally wrong with this hairstyle. So, first up, the coloring. We've got the darker roots with the lighter bleached on top. It just doesn't look good. This color combination doesn't work for anybody. Then it's the spiking of the hair. I don't know what they're going for here, but apparently they want to look like a porcupine. Finally, it shows that you're dated. It shows that you're stuck in 1999, which was a great year, but I don't need to be reminded of that time period every time I look at you. Now, before I reveal the number one, I want to give some honorable mentions, some shout outs. So, first up, we've got the Skrillex. Yes, this hairstyle, actually, I'm looking at it. It's not really committing. It's not going short. It's not going long. I don't even know what this thing is trying to do here. Next up, the emo fringe. This one, a lot of work getting that hair going forward. There's just, I don't know. I really just do not like this one. Finally, we've got the carve out. You know, I couldn't put this one on the list because any guy that actually does this to his hair, well, let's just say that he's not taking himself too seriously. Coming in at number one, gentlemen, we've got the comb over. So, the reason I've got this hairstyle number one on my list is because if you are wearing this, you are not being honest with yourself. Seriously, you're not fooling anybody. As you can see by this anonymous guy right here, look at that comb over four parts. There's like a whole team that's dedicated to keeping this comb over and keeping it in place. And really, are we being fooled? No, of course we're not. So, what video to watch next? How about you learn how to properly and easily cut your own hair? Guys, I've got you covered with this easy tutorial right here.